Good afternoon, everyone. So my team and I will be presenting about cognition. So what is cognition? So basically, cognition is something that's really complex. It involves so many processes in it. And what cognition is, is it's mental activities that are acquiring and processing information. So these are some of the things that you can find linked to cognition, which are attention, perception, memory, language, learning, and also reasoning. So right now, I'll pass my time to Anissa. So for my uh, part, I'm going to talk briefly about attention. So basically what attention is, that it refers to when a person tries to focus and tries to process a certain information from their uh, surroundings. And there are actually four types of attention. So the first one will be selective attention, which is basically when a person tries to uh, block out a, uh, block out certain features to focus onto a one particular feature. So for example, when someone Okay, for example, when you are trying to focus on an online game and your mom at the background starts, starts you know, blabbering about you know, not cleaning up your room. So instead of listening to your mom, you would rather you know, focus more on your game. So I guess that would be a good example. And for the second type would be divided attention where um, a person tries to pay attention at two things at once. And for sustained attention, will, when a person is able to concentrate on a certain task, an event, or a feature in our environment for a long period of time. And for uh, the last one would be exec executive uh, attention, where a person is able and is also pretty good at blocking out unimportant event events and is able to focus on what is actually more important to them and take that as their priority. So yeah, so now I'm going to move it to... Okay. Okay. So next I'm going to talk about the perception. So perception is... Um,
emotional uh, events you want to draw your lifetime. So now I pass to Aisha on language. Hi, I'm Aisha and I'm going to talk about learning. Oh, uh, thanks. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay, sorry. So this is my heart. And next we'll be talking about language. Language is vital in communication. So basically, what language consists of is it's a system of communicative sounds or written symbols. And like um, the previous group just now presented about bilingualism, and that falls under language as well, to be fluent in two or more languages. And that's very fairly common, especially here in Malaysia, being fluent in two or more languages. And some of the media and languages reading, writing, speaking, and listening. So what distinguishes all these media is how it is acquired. Right. So dimensions causing them to differ from one person to another is like their cultural practice. Everyone is of different cultures and that influences how their language is. Um, scannability, the ability for them to take in information effectively or whatnot. Uh, cognitive effort requirements, and then we have the use in practice. Of course, um, gesture is a form of <coughs> non-verbal language as well, communication. So that's also important and it plays a big role in language. So next, I'm going to pass my hand to... Processes in certain cognitive areas. So, yeah. 